Now at 6.30 on WKYT This Morning, a woman says she was beaten and raped while walking home in Richmond. A volunteer firefighter and a pregnant woman are identified as the victims of a deadly Clark County crash. And the cold air has settled in, and it looks like it'll be with us as we head into 2015. That in a very active pattern. I'll have those details coming up for you. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning from WKYT here on the very last day of 2014, December 31st. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. A little early. Happy New Year to you, Jim. <laughs> That's right. I don't know about Jim, but tracking this uh, cold weather as we head into the new year, huh? A indeed, we are tracking plenty of it. I thought she was going to leave me out on that one, but thank you for getting in there. Happy New Year to all of you as well as we're rolling into 2015. Unfortunately, it's going to start out pretty cold, but you expect that this time of year. Cold temperatures are certainly invading our area this morning. Right now, 18 degrees in Lexington, low and mid 20s out to our east. For daytime highs today, Sun and clouds with a high around 29. So 29 degrees, that's all we'll get to during the afternoon and evening hours. And tonight, when we're ringing in the new year, we're back in the teens. So the chill goes really nowhere. I'll, take, uh, I'll have a track on that coming up for you here in just a little bit. Guys. All right, we'll see you in just a bit, Jim. Thank you. Here's the latest from WKYT News. There's some disturbing allegations this morning against a Madison County man. Police say he attacked and raped a woman while she was walking home. WKYT's Whitney Wetzel is live in Richmond with this crime alert. And more information we now have. Good morning, Whitney. Good morning. We are live at the YMC in Richmond, uh, not far from where this crime happened. According to the Richmond Register, early Sunday morning, a woman told police that she was walking along East Main Street when 48 year old Thomas Simmons walked up and started talking to her. Police say Simmons then grabbed that woman, punched her in the face, and then forced her to. Forced her over to the back of a nearby apartment complex on South Fairview Street and raped her. Officers arrested Simmons at his home not long after the crime happened. He's been in the Madison County Detention Center ever since. Simmons is charged with first degree rape and could be arraigned on that charge as early as today. Live in Richmond, Whitney Wetzel, WKYT. Whitney, thank you. New this morning, police are looking for a person of interest after shots were fired into a Lexington home. Police say several people, including children, were inside the home on Honey Jay Court when someone fired several shots into the house. No one was hurt, but police say they do have a person of interest. They're looking for that person this morning. And this morning, investigators have identified the two people killed in a crash with an ambulance. The crash happened Monday on the Mountain Parkway in Clark County. We've learned the victims are a pregnant woman and volunteer firefighter. WKYT's Mark Barber is at our live desk to explain how the couple will be remembered. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Marshall Brian Craig was a volunteer firefighter in a close knit group of men and women at the Owingsville Fire Department. Firefighters there say they are grieving the death of the well loved 38 year old and his pregnant girlfriend. The fire chief says Craig had four children, but he would have been a father of five soon. The Clark County coroner tells us Craig and Rebecca Talby died near the Clark Powell County line Monday afternoon. Police say they were driving west on the Mountain Parkway when their car crossed the center line and crashed into an ambulance. We're told Craig's parents and a younger brother also died in a car crash in Montgomery County back in 2003. Firefighters say they aren't focusing on the tragedy so much as Craig's legacy. They're going to remember how he was there and always gung ho and ready, and hopefully that'll carry over to them, and they'll they'll take up the same excitement towards things the way Brian did. The fire chief says Craig's funeral will be at the Harold and Stewart Funeral Home in Mount Sterling Friday afternoon. From the live desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. Police hope new surveillance video will help them piece together a Southern Kentucky murder. 66 year old Johnny Taylor was found earlier this month inside his burning McCreary County home. State police say he was stabbed to death before the fire started. They've now released video from a nearby gas station. State police say it appears to show a woman getting out of Taylor's stolen truck several hours after the house fire. And now police want to talk to that woman. They say they found Taylor's truck a couple of days after. After the murder, and it too had been set on fire. A man accused of stabbing two people in Lexington is now in jail. Lexington police say Morgan Adams was arrested in Clark County. He's charged with two counts of assault. Police say he stabbed two people Sunday night at an apartment off Eastland Parkway. Both victims were taken to UK hospital with non life threatening injuries. 
Two people charged in connection to a deadly shooting in Winchester pleaded not guilty. Lamont Wilkerson is charged with murder and robbery. Lillian Barnett is charged with complicity to murder. Winchester police say last week shots were fired during a home invasion at an apartment on Oxford Drive. Police say one of the bullets went through the floor, killing 19 year old Amber Caudill. Three others were hurt in the shooting. Police are still looking for a person of interest in the case. State health leaders say the flu has now caused six deaths here in Kentucky. Five adults and one child have died of complications from the flu this year. Health leaders say Kentucky's flu activity is already considered widespread, the highest level possible. Kentucky usually reaches widespread flu activity in January. Doctors point out it is not too late to get a flu shot. Police are needing your help this morning in finding a missing Whitley County teenager. Williamsburg police are looking for 17-year-old Dakota Bunch. They say he was last seen at his home on Shadow Ridge Monday night. He was reported missing yesterday. Police say Bunch is about 6 feet 2 inches tall and weighs around 125 pounds. Kentucky State University has offered a full scholarship to a teenager injured in a shooting at a Louisville area high school. KSU President Raymond Burr said he wanted Javante Burroughs' family to have one less thing to worry about as he recovers. The sophomore was shot at Fern Creek High School in September. His father called the scholarship offer a blessing. A federal judge has moved the trial date of an outgoing Kentucky lawmaker who's facing bribery charges. The trial date of State Representative Keith Hall was set to begin next week in Pikeville. Instead, it's been moved to April. Prosecutors accuse Hall of paying a retired state mine inspector more than $46,000 to ignore repeated violations at Hall's Pike County coal mines. Hall, who's a Democrat that represented Pike County for 14 years, lost in the May primary. Officials say heavy rain, wind, and thick clouds are setting back the search today for the victims of Air Asia Flight 8501. It's also sending the wreckage drifting far from the crash site where searchers are looking for the cockpit voice recorder and the data recorders. The plane crashed in the Java Sea Sunday with 162 people on board. Fort Campbell soldiers will begin returning home from their Ebola fighting mission in West Africa today. The World Health Organization will retake the lead in training healthcare workers and how to handle Ebola patients beginning tomorrow. At midnight Eastern time tonight, the big crystal ball drops in Times Square to welcome in 2015. But New Zealand has already rung in the new year at 6 o'clock our time. Australia says Happy New Year at 8 o'clock this morning with the annual celebration in Sydney Harbor. In Las Vegas, meteorologists are telling folks there to bundle up because it's expected to be 32 degrees there tonight. All right. It's uh, fun to see some of the celebrations oh, are it is. already underway. It really down is. Under. Really <laughs> excited for the festivities tonight. Of course, just exercise caution. Don't drink and drive. You've got an array of options, taxis yeah. and all that kind of Good stuff. Good common sense out there. Yeah. Michigan's Lake Superior State University is out with its 40th list of words to be banished from the Queen's <laughs> English for misuse, overuse, and uselessness. Words you just hear too much, right? The university is turning a cold shoulder to polar vortex. The list is based on submissions from the public received throughout 2014. Other words on that list include hack, foodie, you don't like that one, right? I don't. Swag, I'm not and cray cray. Now, also submitted for sanction are enhanced interrogation, friend raising, and the suffix nation, used to, uh, they, uh, used to uh, uh, make words like uh, Cubs nation, I guess. Big blue nation, uh, whatever kind of nation uh, that uh, people go with. Well, so. some of those I don't think you can really get around, like hack, maybe, you know, because hacking is a thing. Yeah. I mean, how can you get around that? Obviously, it's made huge news in the past month. But foodie, yeah, I, I agree with that one. Let's just. Yeah, let's not use that one anymore. Some of those things are like polar vortex, just things we hope don't happen, right? Yes, right, right. <laughs> the words thinking. that turn off because of the event. All right, 638 right now. A fast food chain is looking to beef up its menu by offering up a meatless sandwich. <laughs> And White Castle, of all things, rolling out a veggie burger at all 400 locations in 12 states. The company, known for its greasy sliders, says customers were pushing for a meat alternative. The veggie slider sells for 99 cents. That's more than the original beef slider that sells for 77 cents. It's made with carrots, zucchini, peas, and spinach. Hmm. Who thought this day would come, right? <laughs>
Never in a million years would you guess that. Uh, a veggie burger at White Castle. There All you right. go. 638 now on WKYT this morning. Let's check to see how traffic is moving this morning. So far, so good with no reports of uh, any issues this morning. However, here at Nicholasville and Pasadena, as you see, the lights remain in flash there, and uh, that's a pretty busy area of town. Uh, so we don't know if uh, that will be back in cycle for the morning rush. So just be uh, careful if you're heading that way. No reports of uh, any other issues. As Rebecca said a minute ago, everybody used a good common sense as you celebrate sensibly tonight on New Year's Eve. A lot more news coming up on WKYT here on this Wednesday morning. A couple looking to award a big prize, and all you have to do is be a good person. Find out what they're giving away coming up. And this forecast is cray cray. We've got all kinds of cold air out there for you. Look out to our west, though. It can always be worse. We'll keep the cold here all day long. I'll have the latest coming up for you in just a few minutes.